Hi, I'm Mohammed, and welcome to CT Scan Academy. In this section, we'll explain how to perform a CT angiography, CTA, of the brain and carotid arteries. Clinical indications for this scan include stroke, transient ischemic attack, TIA, intracranial or carotid artery stenosis, and post-stent placement evaluation. Patient preparation begins with positioning. The patient should lie head first and supine with arms at their sides. Explain the procedure clearly to reduce patient movement during scanning. Check for any contrast allergies and assess renal function before injection. The scan range is caudocranial, starting from the aortic arch up to the vertex. An 18G green angiocatheter should be placed in the right antecubital vein. This is because contrast injection from the left arm can cause artifacts from the left brachiocephalic vein, obscuring the origin of the aortic arch. Exceptions to right arm injection include right arm not usable due to trauma, dialysis, fistula, or paralysis, no suitable vein in the right arm, brain-only angiography, not including carotids. Dextrocardia, where the vascular anatomy is reversed, requiring left arm injection. As seen in the video, this scan was performed using a Philips Ingenuity 16-slice CT scanner. First, patient information is entered during registration. Ensure correct patient positioning is selected. All highlighted fields must be filled accurately. Patient data is blurred for privacy. Next, the appropriate protocol is selected. Use a 180 degree serve view. After serve view, place the locator at the aortic arch. The tracker will auto align. Set the scan box from the aortic arch to the top of the vertex. Since stroke patients may be unconscious and move unexpectedly, the region of interest, ROI, should be placed outside the body, just out the aortic arch. This allows for manual triggering based on visual contrast arrival, preventing false region of interest detection if the patient moves. The tracker and main scan are linked. Once the tracker starts, the main scan will follow automatically. Injector settings. 80 milliliters of contrast at a rate of 4.5 milliliters per second, followed by 30 milliliters of saline chaser at the same rate. The post-injection delay is set to seven seconds, allowing contrast to reach the aortic arch. When contrast is visualized in the arch, the scan begins. After scanning, preview images appear. Adjust the field of view and image contrast if needed, then confirm to generate axial reconstructions. Next is the post-processing stage.
Start by creating MIP images, then perform MPR reconstructions in sagittal and coronal planes. Adjust the window width and window level for optimal vascular contrast. Reference recommends an increment less than 2.5 millimeters. Then move to the AVA application. AVA will auto detect anatomy and begin bone removal. Once bone is removed, perform VRT reconstruction. What should our next How Do I topic be? Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming educational videos.